So as you probably can, as you probably can see, we've had some uh, erosion and it's kind of all fallen down in there. So we're gonna have to get on our stomachs and dig out that sump tank and get it down and in there flush. And then, uh, as you can see, it's it's not a very deep sump tank. So we're gonna have. Uh, I said this in a previous video that uh, we're gonna have to have a pretty nice pump pumping all this water out. So uh, I'm getting really eager to uh, see how this is actually going to uh, going to work. I'm sure it's gonna work just fine now. Okay guys, so uh, sorry if the wind's a little bad on this video, but I just want to give you an update on uh, the Monster Greenhouse. Uh, I tried to uploading a video last night and it was just, uh, I don't know why, but my browser kept crashing and, while I was sleeping and uh, I couldn't get it uploaded, I guess. So uh, I did a little bit of work uh, out here today. Uh, you can see I got the back wall for the floating, uh, floating raft bed uh, put in. Um, everything's leveled off and uh, it's actually looking pretty good. So uh, probably in the next couple days, I'll finish up these uh, walls and uh, we'll get the bed put together. And then after that, it's just uh, putting in the liner and uh, uh, getting the plumbing done. So uh, that's what we're, that's what we're going to be working on. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this bed here with all the junk inside of it, this is bed number one uh, in the greenhouse. Uh, it's against the back wall. So uh, we'll put a trellis along the back here for... Uh, for the tomatoes and whatever we have growing, uh, so they can grow right up the wall. Uh, this is bed number two. Uh, here is where we'll be growing uh, the bulk of our food because it's the largest bed. Uh, on the back here, we'll put up some strawberry towers and that take up, uh, I don't know, hopefully the whole back wall so we can get a, a nice uh, crop of strawberries or what, whatever we decide to grow in here. And then in here, uh, this is gonna mainly be our lettuce. Uh, our lettuce bed, so we'll, we'll grow over our our, uh, our salads and stuff like that year-round. Um, hopefully in the greenhouse we'll make that possible. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, what we've been doing. So, uh, let me take you over and just show you what we've, uh, just a couple of other little things where we've been working on. So, as you can see, uh, these tomatoes um, aren't, aren't looking too bad. we got a flower right there. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Actually, I haven't really even looked at this one very, very good today, and it's actually doing, it's doing okay. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. All right, but uh, looks, yeah, I need to get these kind of situated a little bit better. But yeah, cool. All right. Well, that one, and then uh, well, there's two, and they both actually look pretty good. And this is the, the other variety. I'm not, I'm not, I don't even remember which one these are, but the leaves aren't. They're, they're kind of. It looks like they're starting to come back. So all right. That's that's great news. Yeah, see, th th this is what the leaves did. They kind of just dried out and they're just falling off. So probably just cut these off and see see what happens. But uh, anyway, uh, broccoli's doing great, as you can see. Uh, it's all it's all over the bed. Hopefully, we'll get some. It's a nice big, uh, a nice big head of uh, broccoli there. There's uh, there's a lettuce still looking really good, very leathery. Here's that. Here's a green bean that I planted in here. Pepper plants and uh, pea pod and then <laughs> that's the water or the cantaloupe plant uh, this is probably this is going to come out and i'll probably just put throw some seeds uh, cantaloupe seeds in there same thing with the watermelon uh, yeah, it, melons do not like to be transferred so you live and learn i guess uh, this little tomato plant i took out of the soil pod and it's, it's doing okay uh, this one here uh, same thing i just put i took him out actually yesterday and he's, it's it's kind of like it's weepy it's it feels just unhealthy and it's it's just the root shock so this one doesn't look too bad so i hope i hope this one springs back like the other ones okay so as you can see these are the tomatoes from the indoor aquaponics system now they uh yeah they look pretty crappy this one doesn't look too bad um but most of these we're looking, I mean, I, I had, I, I almost gave up on them. I almost pulled them out because they were just, they look so horrible. But I don't know, they, this weather might be uh, helping them. Uh, they, no, I'm sure it is helping them a little bit. But it, I don't hopefully they, they, they get over this root shock and they produce some tomatoes for me. But uh, right there, that's my green bean. I just planted a couple things in here because I wasn't really expecting the tomatoes to, to make it. So I figured I better just plant what I have and you know see what I can get but that's a that's a tomato that was in a soil pod for way too long same with this one uh, and then over here is our last green bean so anyway guys thanks for uh, watching this video on the greenhouse aquaponics system I'm going to be updating you again as soon as there's something update probably in the next couple days or so uh, the system should be done by this weekend so hopefully I'll have a nice big uh 
finishing, you know, fi finishing video so I can actually start working on all this stuff and not actually, you know, and, and get away from building it. But uh, don't forget about the fan page, HD Aquaponics, and uh, I'm sorry, the Facebook fan page, HD Aquaponics, uh, the YouTube channel, and um, looks like uh, YouTube was kind enough to offer me some kind of a partnership program with my seed starting videos, so if you guys see that and you see any ads, click them, support me, uh, and I'll continue to do this, and uh, yeah, any, if, thank you for all the new subscribers, all the new, all the new fans of the fan page all that stuff and i will be uh, i'll continue to be uh, updating these videos as they come and i will be launching the website really really soon so keep an eye out for that be, leave me alone uh keep an eye out for that uh hdaquaponics.com all right thanks for watching guys